appearance of primitive recursion with parameters in history that I know of. And in the great temple of Benares, beneath the dome which marks the center of the world, rests a brass plate in which are fixed three diamond needles, each a cubic high and as thick as the body of a bee. On one of these needles, at the creation, God placed 64 discs of pure gold, the largest disc resting on the brass plate, and the others getting smaller and smaller up to the top one. This is the Tower of Brahma. Day and night, unceasingly, the priests transfer the discs from one diamond needle to another, according to the fixed and immutable laws of Brahma, which require that the priest must not move more than one disc at a time and that he must place this disc on a needle so that there is no smaller disc below it. When 64 discs shall have been thus transferred from the needle on which at the creation God placed them to one of the other needles, tower, temple, and Brahmins alike will crumble into dust, and with a thunderclap the world will vanish. You see, this is one of the advantages of studying religion. Yeah. You hear uh, those uh, famous texts, and you discover that religion has something to do with the Tower of Brahma, right? And this problem for computer scientists is, of course, you know, very well known. So uh, the solution is simply this. The natural solution is you want to move n disks from A to C, and the idea is you move n minus 1 from A to B, then you move the remaining one, uh, namely just one, from A to C, and then again you move the uh, remaining n minus 1 from B to C. Now, uh, as you see, this is a primitive recursion because you're computing a function at n and you're using values at n plus at minus 1. But the trouble is, as you see here, the parameters a and c sometimes have changed because this is a b, this is a c, and this is b c. So it is really a, uh, a first application of primitive recursion with parameters.